Hey y'all, it's Austin here at Hunter's Harvest Outdoors. Today I'm going to be showing you my 2023 pack dump. Um, just be going over the basics, pretty much what I have in my pack, what I'm going to be toting this year, what we're going to be using to shoot some deer. With this pack I got, um, it is actually my saddle pack. So I'll show you in depth a little bit about that. If you guys have any questions in particular after the show's done, feel free to comment. However, what we're going to start off with, this is going to be my pack. 2023 the hunting season um, white tail deer uh, with this I'm gonna be packing out pretty much everything I need I got my camera equipment in here I got my saddle equipment of course I wear my saddle around my waist as you guys can see I got that around my waist and up here on top we're just gonna start out show you a little bit of what I carry in the woods how I pack it out and maybe it'll be helpful for you guys so the first thing I want to show you is what I have here is I have an actual vortex um, these are the 10 by 50 Vortex. They are some nice binoculars. Now, one thing with these Vortex is you got to know um, they do have lifetime warranty on them. So that's a good thing. You can send them off. They'll replace it. But I am carrying the 10 by 50 Vortex binoculars this year. And, of course, the Vortex, they also come with this nice little pouch, too. If you guys want a review of it, these are very good binoculars. I suggest them. On my side right here, what I have is I have my rangefinder pouch. So that does have my rangefinder in there. With my rangefinder, it's a go, go, go sports yard. Anyways, this is my rangefinder I'm going to use. In this pouch, it does have a tether that connects, you know, so if you was to, you know, drop it, it's not actually going to hurt or you're not going to lose it. So that is my rangefinder I'm going to be using this year. This pouch right here, this pouch is a Badlands pouch. Of course, I'm not a paid sponsor for any of this stuff I'm showing you guys. Just starting out this video, just showing you what I tote. But this is a Badlands pouch. It does have lifetime warranty on it as well. So they're a very nice company too. Also, on my binocular pouch, I do have right here, I just have like some little bit of, you know, wind detector. So right there, you could buy this on Amazon. It's wind floaters. Um, it's made by Phase, which way the wind's blowing. Right now we ain't got no wind, so that would be a good day. So I put this right here, just easy access, easy for me to grab it. But this will be my binocular pouch, Vortex. All right. On the bottom, what I'm rocking is uh, I actually got on a trophy line saddle, and I'll pull it off to show you guys. Basically, this will be my trophy line saddle. Of course, I have my little pouches on the side with my a tether and my linesman rope and stuff. I also have, you know, a couple little things of how I take my actual sticks up the tree. This is a nice saddle. It's very comfy. It doesn't have a bunch of like pressure points where it cuts off on your legs. So I love this saddle. Um, I'm really looking forward to hunting with it this year. So what we have here is I have this all strapped into a trophy line bag. Um, fits nice. It weighs, there is some weight here. I ain't gonna lie. There's probably 30 pounds there, something like that. It's not too heavy like a climber or anything, but that will be my actual setup. The first thing I'll start with, what I have right here, is these are the XOP um, K2s, I believe, or Y2s or something like that. But these are the sticks I'm going to be toting this year. These are four sticks. They're two steps. Of course, I have some daisy chain stuff like that on them. I have daisy chain as well as a one-step aider um, on each stick except for my bottom stick. Um, on my bottom stick, I'll normally run probably a two-step aider. But on my other three, I'm just going to have a one-step aider. But these are my sticks. Um, one thing about these sticks, I'll say off of hand. reason why they're wrapped up so nice and tight and it looks like you can't see any metal at all is basically these things have like a texture right here. And that texture will scratch the crap out of you. I'm not even going to lie. That's one thing I really don't like about these sticks. But since I've actually wrapped them up where none of it will get me, there ain't no loud dinging anything like that i like them now but i did have to actually wrap them up with some wrap this wrap just some cheap stuff off of amazon man this crap comes in handy it's basically just like ace bandage you put around your leg it sticks to itself so you don't have that sticky mess if you ever do take it off try to resell them or whatever the case may be whatever you're trying to do but off of amazon it's little rolls i think it's like 11 dollars for 10 rolls very good deal but these are my sticks xop k2s y2 something like that that's my only disregard that I didn't like about them would be that stuff right there it's just real it's real scratchy um, they're real noisy when they scratch together or scratch like on a bag like how this bags kind of you know soft it makes a scratching noise so watch that if you guys go to buy these other than that if you wrap them up they're good sticks I like them 
So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is gonna be my actual saddle platform. Basically, I wanted to try out this XOP stuff just because uh, it's user friendly. It's a great price and it's quality material. Um, this it will be my platform. So this is the XOP platform. It's, I like it, it's good. I do have one downfall. It is a little bit heavier compared to other platforms out there. It is a little bit wider, a little bit nicer to stand on. So it is nice in that aspect, but it is a little bit heavier than um, most platforms you probably used. I have a eighth inch daisy chain on my actual platform. I'm running 764 daisy chains on my climbing sticks, but this will be my platform that I'll use this year. All right, so this will be my bag this year. Like I said, it's that trophy line. Um, it is a saddle bag as well as they got a couple features that work really good for like filming your hunts. I'll show you on it. Has some straps that come around the bag. Put your sticks and stuff on. So I'm a fan of that. I'm gonna try it out. I had a bag that really didn't have the straps. It really wasn't made for saddle hunting. Um, I tried to stick all the stuff on and it just doesn't work the best in the world. So I actually bought a saddle bag this year. I'm gonna try that. I think it's gonna be very convenient for work for what I need it to. All right, guys, what I'm gonna show you now is what's left in my dump pack this year, 2023 deer season. First off, I'm gonna pull it off right here off the side. This is gonna be my camera arm, just so I can free up some space. Once I get up there in the tree, this will be my camera arm. When I had it all strapped together up here in the front with my sticks, I also have this. This will be another piece. This is a muddy camera arm. This will be the camera arm I'll film with this year. It is a little bit heavier, but it's just more stable than some of the ones you may have had. But this will be the arm I'll use this year. Have a little cheap little camera mount up there with a little stick. But they're really, really deep. Also on the side of this, just so you don't think that's the only pouch I'm sticking it in, it has a pouch here that you open and zip. Has this nice little mesh right here to hold whatever you have in there. And it's a pretty good size pocket. I have some big old hands. People pick on me for my hands, but those are some good size pockets. All right. Also here, this is another little water bottle pocket. So that is not your only pocket on this side. You have a bunch of stuff you can tote in there. There's so many pockets, so cool. What I stick right here in this film pocket or whatever you want to call it is going to be my GoPro. Sometimes also my GoPro, if you'll notice on the front side of my bag right here, I have this little wrist adapter. I'll take that wrist adapter and I'll put my GoPro on here just to hold it for like when I'm walking in, filming my walk, me throwing something together to be honest. But anyways, that right there, I hold it up against my chest. And this will be my GoPro. Um, this year we're running the GoPro Hero 9 Black. So that will be the GoPro I'm using. This is off of Amazon. It's an eight inch little extension. Just get all kind of weird little angles, film with it in my truck. It is noisy, okay? So once you get up in the tree, it's probably gonna stay where you put it because it is, it's kind of squeaky, okay? So in my truck, I'll hang it from my old crap handle up here and you know, film myself, film the road nice little feature anyways that sticks right there in that pocket so this will be the gopro we took this year right here in the front of this thing i'll be honest i don't put much right here most of the time it's just going to be like my spare batteries so i just have like spare gopro batteries in here a spare canon battery and stuff if i want to drop my phone in there i might drop my phone in there what's going to be in that little compartment and then in here um just some washcloths, who knows, you might get sweaty or whatever. Anyway, some scent proof washcloth. Um, sometimes I use them, most of the time they just sit in the bag, but they're in here anyhow. <coughs> you can put whatever you want in there. Also, sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually put my, I'll put my back strap for my saddle in there too. I got it actually tucked in this top part right this second. This other compartment, you can put a phone, you don't need sunglasses in the woods, but I reckon if you wanted sunglasses, I reckon you could put them in there. But it's just nice and velvety feel, which feels good. Also have a little extra SD card in there. I have, of course, Primo's. Can't get no simpler than that. Anyhow, that's in there as well. Up top, you gotta get yourself one, man. Seen this on TikTok. This is bad. Love this thing thing i like about it is like duck season and stuff we're getting ready on this tailgate even deer season you know this is our table that we get ready on before we go into the woods and if you have a regular flashlight it's you have to shine it you know you keep moving it around looking at different stuff with this thing it's on your head press that button 
and it is going to light up the whole back of the truck and then at the same time if you wanted an actual little spotlight it might not look bright on the camera right now but this thing is nice i love this thing i recommend you get one got mine off of tiktok seen it had to have it so i just keep this up here in the top open up this main pouch this is where we're going to get into majority of my stuff that i towed into the woods um like for the actual hunt not just sitting in the tree with <clears throat> first thing i have like i said is i have my back rest this goes for my saddle sometimes i'll put it in this pocket sometimes i'll put it in this pocket just whatever the case i have my actual gopro box in my gopro box is just all the essentials you might need for your camera you know lens covers um i have an sd card reader in here probably shouldn't take that in the woods but it's in here anyhow um, also have a waterproof case i have a couple different fitments for the gopro just where you won't be really misorganized but i keep this in there as well also wind muff for the camera this is the one i bought basically it's a daisy chain um and this daisy chain is meant to wrap around a tree to hang your stuff on so what you would do of course if i had a tree right here it'd be a little bit easier to show you once you lock it in it's hanging around your tree you got a bow hook right here that you can hang your bow around and then you have a couple different carabiners that you can hang i don't know maybe a call or something like that through i'll also have this where i'll put my gopro on that little swivel thing i was showing you that will be strapped into this as well i'll just hook it in and then down here is this nice little long tail and on the end i put one of my carabiners that comes with it comes with three but i put one of my little carabiners on the very end so my bag will hang down there at the bottom and it just won't be in my way so that's what i'm gonna be toting this year as of my strap to go around the tree like i said we're gonna be hunting some wmas you can't put no you can't put a a peg or you can't put you know you can't screw into the tree so we got straps we're running straps so of course i got just some knee pads um knee pads really come in handle for saddle hunting got knee pads knee pads are going to help me whenever i want to just actually sit down and rest i can put my knees up against the tree so i got knee pads tucked off in here you always need your orange always got a nice little orange vest down there in the bottom so i got an orange vest in there i've got my deer calls on one side uh bone collector snort wheeze and a grunt i also have another grunt call i have just my all-around call that i'll use i have a fawn call in there too i don't hardly ever touch any of them except for these two right here i told them who knows maybe um like i said we're going to be hunting with some of our buddies and stuff too so if they need a grunt call i don't know i got an extra one in my bag anyways this will be the one i'll mostly be using this bone collector it's got a snort wheeze as well as a deep grunt it's really nice just a nice deep tone so i like that it's also flex so you can manipulate it a little bit and then i just got this primo's trophy grunt um it's got all the stages down to your does and fawns and stuff but most of the time i'll use this one this just has all my ranges everything i am a big fan during rut of them primos cans i do use them kind of religiously and i showed you that beginning so it's kind of on the front of my bag on this side um i'm basically just toting my actual my actual spray my covers my cover scents i don't use a bunch of cover scent um the main one i use would just be really this one this is nose jammer y'all if y'all have not heard of nose jammer go find you a can of nose jammer give it a try i'm not sponsored by any of these people but that right there is some banging stuff um it really works okay the slogan on it wrong wind jam them like straight up that's some good stuff i really like this i spray this on myself some people are just spray it in their blinds um they'll spray it you know like just downwind i spray this crap on me hey I reckon I won't never have a wrong wind. Anyhow, with this, this is some good stuff. This is the only thing I really use. Depending on if it's rut or not, I might have an actual little scent, like some doe pee, uh, some doe and estrus. You know, I barely ever use them, but I tote one just in case I might. Thermocell, I don't know about y'all, but hunting down here in South Georgia, you need one of these things here. I got an extra little pod here. I got one inside. Plenty of hours. I believe it's like 12 hours a pod three of these little things equals a 12 hours on that one can anyhow i got extras i got refills in there but thermosel you ain't got one of them you need to get you one and here 
have a stream light most of the time I will keep this in my truck on charge and I will grab it out of there before I leave I'll just throw it somewhere in my bag I towed a stream light just in case I might need a very very bright light which I know I don't I got that headlamp also got some camera lights as well um, some people say those camera lights track better with blood than flashlights so I'm gonna give that a try this year see what that brings me this right here is basically your straps to pull out your deers by the antlers or by the head feet whatever it is but these are straps to pull out deer this makes it a whole lot easier than you reaching down there grabbing by the antlers and snatching them out I just have them tucked away who knows hopefully I'll have some help hopefully I also have my rattle um, my rattle sticks so a bunch of people use antlers and by all means use antlers um, I'm fine with that I uh, used to use antlers too it's just this packs way well you know there might be a difference in sound I really don't I really don't see it though so they just pack really easy instead of toting them antlers and having them all outside of your bag and all whacked out right there that's pretty much it you guys um, that is my 2023 pack dump that's what I'll be toting in the woods this year opening day is September the 10th so this Saturday um, we are so eager to just tear that up we are we're ready to lay something down honestly we're gonna be going more than likely Saturday morning I will probably hit my private spot and then we'll hit a WMA um, later on you know midday something like that my wife is actually taking the kids to the beach so i'll have all day saturday try to get a bunch of footage for you guys we got martin's pack dump coming up um i'll actually put that on the youtube page and we'll see what we can do there and i believe he's also filming his opening day hunt as well like i said we're just starting this thing out but we're going to try to film try to put out a couple videos a week for you to look at if there's anything that you guys would like for me to do like for me to review in my pack feel free to comment um as always like share subscribe however you say it but we really do appreciate you guys watching our videos. It means a lot. It's pretty cool to wake up and see that your video has a couple views on it. So the more you guys watch, I just find it thrilling. And that is pretty much it. That wraps up my 2023 pack dump. My name is Austin here at Hunter's Harvest Outdoors. And we'll catch you guys later.